Hey there, welcome to What's Up Weekly. Today's Wednesday, August 25th. This is our season five premiere. Woo! So exciting. Today's episode is brought to you by the color blue. Oh! How about that? We're glad you've tuned in. <laughs> and this is all things children and student ministry at Southgate. I'm Pat, this is Libby. We got a fun episode. Let's do it. Yeah. That's right, yeah. So today is the National Day of Waffles. How about that? Do you eat waffles? I do. If I would have known, I would have had one for breakfast this morning, but... We don't really do waffles. Really? We do pancakes. They're good. They're yeah. good, too. Yeah. So, nice. enjoy a waffle. Celebrate with us. Yeah. Uh, some logistics we do want to make you aware mm -hmm. of as we transition from summer into fall. The first one is that you've probably heard about these medical release forms. Mm -hmm. We ask that each child or student has one filled out for the school year. So, you might think, I just filled out one of these for my mm. kid in VBS. You're right, yeah. but this is for the 2021-2022 school year. Right. So we ask that all of our kiddos have those filled out when our ministry starts this fall. You can find one on our website or pick one up at church. Yep. And then second, Promotion Sunday is coming up Sunday, September 12th. Yeah. Yep. All the kiddos will get bumped up a grade. So sixth graders, that's when you'll join us for D groups on Sunday morning. Nice. Kindergarten, you'll go to first grade. You yep. know how it goes, so we're excited for that. And then lastly, our student ministries fall kickoff is this Sunday, Ooh. our back to school bash at the Cook's house from six to 8 p.m. Cool. Guys bring a dessert, girls bring a side dish. Yeah. Cost okay. is free. Nice. So, yep. Yeah, a couple more things. This Sunday also um, during Sunday School Equip You Hour is the ministry That's fair. Right. So after the service, the kids will still have Sunday School. Mm -hmm. So kiddos can go to Sunday School or stay in their class from worship hour. But at 11.30, we're asking parents to right. pick up their kiddos, fifth grade and younger, from Sunday school. So that way the teachers and volunteers can attend the ministry fair. And also parents, make sure to stop by our table. Mm -hmm. We're going to have lots of things to hand out. And one of them, I'll give you a little preview, are oh, these yeah. cute little cards. That Those are great are for you to send in your kids' school lunchbox mm. or book bag, or if your kids are just at home, you can stick them in their books and stuff. Just little scripture it's verses great. to encourage your kids this school year. Yep, stop by, we'll yep. give them out to you. Um, today, we're gonna do a little mm. something a little different. We're not gonna have a normal in review segment to right. recap what we've been teaching. Instead, we're gonna do curriculum preview to talk about what we will be teaching this school year, yeah. all the way from twos and threes up through high school. Yeah. So this might, chunk might get a little long the next couple of minutes. Stay yep. with us. Yeah, um, we want to resource you, give you more information than you need for how to how we are hoping to come right. alongside you in discipling your kids. Yeah. So Libby, take it away. Here we go. All Here right. we go. So the twos and threes class, we are switching to a curriculum called Puggles, mm -hmm. which is produced by the Awana program. And... It's so cute and I'm it's so excited. Great. So I'll just quickly show you, um, there's just four big truths that we are trying to teach to this, the twos and threes, and I'll share them with you. God made everything. It's great. Come on, Pat. Yep. God is great. God is great. God Amen. loves us. Mm -hmm. And then we give thanks. So these books, we're actually going to have copies Perfect. for our twos and threes parents to keep at home. But these are the four big truths that the kiddos will be learning in the Ooh. twos and threes class. Super excited Super about cute. that. They're really cool. Yep, precious, yep. just precious. Okay, in the pre-K class, really excited. We are going to be switching and using the Cubbies curriculum, which is also produced by Awana. Mm -hmm. And so for this school year, you can hold that. Oh yeah. The pre-K, we're doing Cubbies and we're gonna be using the Honeycomb hmm. version of the book. So we're gonna have books for all those kids to work on their verses at That's home, great. and then they can say their verse at church. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of the big things that I love about Cubbies is their motto is Jesus loves me. So Amen. perfect, the kids will be learning that. Yep. And then also the Cubbies key verse is 1 John 4, 10, God loved us and sent his son. So just great. great truths mm -hmm. that we'll be teaching the kiddos in the pre-K class. There will be more details about the pre-K class sent out to you in an email. Hmm. So pre-K parents look for the info in that separate email coming Absolutely. out here in the next week or two. For kindergarten through fifth grade students, we are also switching curriculum. Yep. We've done the Gospel Project by Lifeway for the last six years. We are sticking with Lifeway. They produce the curriculum, yep. but they also produce a curriculum called Bible Studies for Life. We are switching to that. It is based on what Lifeway has researched and developed, and it's based on the 10 essential Bible concepts mm. that they think all kids need to know. So, so there's 10 of them. 
That's what the lessons and the units and the curriculum is all based on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Journey will be starting with the lesson. And Journey this year is just going to be kindergarten through fourth grade students. So fifth grade students are just going to stay in the service. So the Journey kids will come to Journey after the service starts and they will get the Bible lesson. They will get taught the lesson, play games, have fun, all the excitement, yep. energy get out of their system. Then all of those students will transition upstairs to Sunday school and fifth graders will head to Sunday school after the service and they will review the lesson that was taught during journey or for fifth grade, they'll get introduced to the lesson. Sure. Um, so it just all works together. And then I'm super excited, Pat, about the best part. Bible studies for life. Parents, you'll get a copy of this email and you can pick one up at the ministry fair or at the check-in desk. Um, each lesson has a Bible verse that goes with it. And we are asking the kiddos to practice and learn the Bible verse for that week's lesson at home all week. That's right. So you're going to learn, practice, keep this on your fridge, do it every night at dinner as a mm -hmm. family, kindergarten through fifth graders, learn those verses. Then on Sunday morning during the Sunday school hour, the kids get to say their verse to their Sunday school teacher. And yep. then that week's lesson is about that verse. So the kids will learn where it's at in the Bible and just the story that backs it up and all of those things. So it's all working together. It is. It's connected. It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And so. that all kind of fuels or fuels comes from the video we produced back in early August to talk about our fall programming mm -hmm. and taking scripture memory yeah. as a focus on Sunday mornings, pre-K, elementary. Absolutely. Yeah. It's great. Yep. So what are job. you doing this fall? Yeah. So for Sunday mornings, we're going to do one small program change. Instead of having a middle school Sunday school, we're going to have mm. middle school discipleship groups, just like we have high school discipleship nice. groups. So there'll be a middle school boys group, middle school girls, high school boys, high school girls. Cool. That will all meet during equipping hour. And this fall, they're all going through the book, Who is Jesus? by Greg Gilbert. Nice. So I've got a shipment of these in my office. We have a book you can see that's not very thick. Nice. And then a study guide as well. Both are great. And they just talk through key questions about who is Jesus, look at his life on earth, his ministry, what we can learn, and how we can be ready to explain Jesus to someone we might wow. interact with in school, the that's community, great. so on and so forth. So we do ask students, I was going to mm. say donate, pay $5. Yeah. Um, that'll cover the cost of both books. Cool. And they can get that to their D group leader on September 12th or to me. We appreciate that, trying to offset some of the costs. Sure. So yeah. that's Sunday mornings. Wednesday nights, we're starting a new curriculum this year called Pursuit, which is by a company called Leader Treks that does a lot with student ministry. They're great. Cool. And this curriculum um, talks about God's pursuit of us, mm. but then also our pursuit as disciples of him. Nice. So kind of both sides of that. And parents, I'm really excited. They produce parent guides for us that give us a snapshot of the lesson, the scripture, the takeaway, and then a memory verse wow. or key concept from that week. So I'll be sending these out in my weekly newsletters. That way you can follow up at home with kind of a key question with your student about what did you talk about at youth group last night? This curriculum awesome. has it all for us. Wow. So again, super excited about all of those options. Cool. So all right. A lot of exciting things. Yeah, a lot. So the a other lot. thing, which is a little bit, I don't say up in the air, we don't have dates nailed down mm, yet. Yeah. It's some family fun ministry events that we want to offer. Yeah. Um, we're looking at doing a date night yes. where you can drop your kids off here. We will entertain them really so excited. you can have a date night, parents. Uh, we don't have a date for that yet, yeah. but know that's we're coming down the pike. On it. It's Absolutely. A lot. Yeah. And then the first thing for kids is October 9th. There'll be junior jam down at Cedarville University and yeah. registration Hopefully. for that. Right. Yeah. Hopefully. Pray about that. We yeah. do hope that happens yeah. still. And registration for that will open soon. Yeah, we'll if you have a that. third through sixth grader. Yep. So cool. All right. That's all of it. Woo! Woo. So deep breath. Because today was the National Day of Waffles. That's true. We have a waffle game. Of okay? course. And we're gonna call eight bit waffle tic tac toe Three, game. Two, Boom. One.
They'll be proud of you. Uh, if you didn't play along, go yeah. ahead now. Either make waffles or grab a frozen waffle. Play tic-tac-toe with your brother, sister, mom, or dad. And thanks for tuning in. Yes. We'll see you in September.